welcome to a new episode of Pinch of Gold. And today, I'm going to be doing a carton protection spell. I think it's carton. Anyways, it's rocks. Use rocks to protect my house. But don't forget your mundane protections as well. Um, you can't always protect yourself with rocks, except if you throw them at people. That's good protection. But you also want mundane protection as well, like locking your doors, alarm system, cameras, whatever. But this is just to protect you from the spiritual. So, I collected a bunch of river rocks. Um, I had a shit ton in front of my house for some reason. So I'm going to be using these, and then I'm going to be placing them in points around my house. First, I'm going to be um, charging them with uh, candles and spells and things. Uh, not spells and things. Herbs. So I spell and then put a sigil on them as well, and then seal that sigil, and then put them out there. So I'm going to be using pepper to keep people away and chamomile to protect it. And then I'm going to be using a paint marker to put the sigil on it. So I made up the sigil. Uh, my, my phrase is protect my home from those with ill intentions toward to be in mine. All who reside within are free to come and go. And then I put that into a sigil maker because I'm not very good at making them myself. And it generated one for me that I'm going to be using today. So, I'm also going to be lighting a candle, uh, white for protection for my house. And then I just realized I don't know how to open that. Oh, that's how you do that. Cool. And then I'm going to light this candle. You don't have to let this burn out while you're going. You can just... Uh, have it going while you're going, while you're doing this, and then blow it out. I'm not too... I don't like waiting. So, uh, I'm going to put some chamomile for protection. Think about what you're doing while you're doing this. And then pepper. Together. And then I'm going to put... my intentions in it while well, I'm grinding them together as well. So thinking about what I want done, like protecting my home from those. But I also don't want to kick out any spirits who all already live here. Uh, if they live here, I want them to stay because they're kind of bothering me. So think about what you are doing. As it slowly, slowly comes down. I'm using a paint marker. I bought this at Dyson. I buy a lot of things at Dyson. can't get it perfect as long as you can get it close. 
and it'll probably be like, but you have to. Well, we're not perfect. Kind of suck sometimes. I'll take a picture later. And then just keep doing it. Make sure you're putting all your intentions in as you're going. So I just picked a trying to pick a good number of rocks that were kind of flat. I just kind of went from there. Good number of rocks and some flat ones. Just use four, use less, use more. Whatever works for you in your house. If you want to add more spicy spells or herbs to keep people out, you can, like cayenne or ghost pepper. That would be kind of cool. Or you could add more protection herbs instead you do you because witchcraft is all personal everyone's personal Better at doing this, which one I do. Don't worry about it. I think. <laughs> I got two more. Don't worry if the herbs fall off, that's fine. They're just there to put your intent into them. I got this idea off Tumblr, but I have a really hard time finding the post again, and I adapted some of this. Like, they have the rock idea, but I adapted other parts, like the pepper, and they have the sigil, or sigil, I can't ever say it right, yeah, figure it out one day, there we go, so all my rocks are done. So then, if you want, you can seal them because the paint, I don't want it to like wear off. So it looks like it's not going to actually. So you can seal them with like a, a matte gloss or whatever, and then you can just put them around your yard, hide them in points, but you want them to all be kind of like able to connect if that makes sense. So that's what I'm going to do. But just. I'm going to hold them in my hands. Oh, my hands are I'm going to put my intentions in them once more. Take these. I'm gonna put that 
tell you how that goes, hopefully. With with some spirit protection. I haven't really had anything happening in the house, but hey, who knows? I have been locked outside a couple times. I don't know how. Maybe it was a ghost. Whew. So I'm gonna blow this one out because I don't need it anymore. Some people believe that if you blow the candle out, out you're blowing out your intentions. But I don't believe that. So, ooh, so spooks. We're just ending this well. Alright, so if you want to see more, you can come and check me out at pinchofcult.com. You check it out on, not pinchofcult.com, that's silly. Check out my Tumblr, my Instagram, my Twitter, and my Facebook. I might start a Twitch, I don't know about that yet. Um, you can see the results on there. Uh, you can check out some original spells and some spells that I've done before as well on my Tumblr. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe, check that bell icon on the top, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you for showing up and watching. Bye!